Okay, hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Benjamin Necho. I'm the MD at the Echo Farms and Agro Services Company um, in Nigeria. We're here in the warehouse in Jos, uh, Plateau State. Um, I'll be giving you a tour of what we do here and how we've been trying to see how we can contribute our part to uh, helping the Nigerian farmers to be more productive um, with less resources and environment using environmental friendly resources. All right, thank you. So please come with me. We don't own this facility. We're partnering with an organization called the Cartier Company in Plateau State. This used to be a mine site. And it's an interesting story I'd like to share briefly. Um, in the 60s, in the early 80s, this facility was used for mining. And then um, a lot of things changed and the owners left and sold it to another organization. But one of the challenges they were having was that they are equally an agro allied company and they were trying to see how they can um, use this facility to farm but they were having challenges with the um, high toxicity level in the soil from um, the mining activities. Uh, like I earlier mentioned, this facility um, many years ago used to be a mining site. You can still see residue of some of the mining materials and the toxic toxins left here. Uh, this is May in Nigeria. Um, by May, we have already a substantial amount of rain. So I was supposed to see this area entirely green. But if you study and look, you just see a bit of shrubs that are growing here like the petonia. But every other grass is still brown because the place is not very fertile. This is our office complex. Um, we use this for storage of farming pits. We use this as a demonstration office area for sort of an experience center for farmers. So we have a facility which we are currently still equipping uh, where farmers can come and we can interact and then we can do a sort of demonstration and a bit of an educational expose for them where they can learn the theoretical as well as the practical aspect of what we are doing here. So I'll go on and, and show you some of the things uh, we'll be able to achieve. This is our warehouse. Um, essentially in this warehouse, what we do here is this is the interface where we um, get the farming pits directly to the farmers. Um, so I, I'll show you what happens. Here. So we have some stocks. Um, it's usually full, but farmers have been coming to pick products. Uh, so um, this is what we have as of this morning. Um, Farmers come here and then we interface with them, give them a bit of an education and then we supply them directly. Um, one of the challenges we were going through when we were developing the material was we were having challenges with high rain effects. Of course, um, it's no news that um, rainfall has been a major abnormality in this part of the world. There are certain seasons we have a lot of rain, there are certain seasons we have very little rain. Um, and when the rains are high, we have issues with flood where um, the inputs are washed away from the farm. So we're cracking our heads how to develop a material that can be embedded in, that can embed the nutrients so that um, when there's flood, the materials will remain. And we found a very cheap and common material in Nigeria, which is clay, and we've been able to produce that, and that's why you see this is, so it's very um, common material, it's uh, less expensive, and it's very effective. On the farm, we have a lot of tectonia plants, as you can see. Um, it's common knowledge that tectonia plants are are rich in, in phytohormones that are used all over the world to fight um, nematodes. We um, allow these plants to grow naturally as a way to um, recover the land and then when they grow we harvest annually and we make products from them equally to uh, produce um, nematode repellent uh, materials. Um, so essentially we are in the field one of the plots of lands we've been able to restore is nearly 10 hectares of land that is here behind me. It's a vast property. Um, what we use this facility to do is to teach the Nigerian uh, smallholder farmers uh, the benefit of carbon kidnapping. Uh, it's, uh, for lack of a better word, it's, it's the, tech, the technical term is uh, carbon sequestration. So we encourage zero to minimal till, like what we have here. Um, last two years, this place was tilled to cultivate potatoes and maize. But the previous year, last year and this year, we're not going to till it. What we essentially are doing is just to minimally scratch the surface and plant what we intend to plant. We're planting maize here, so we'll just scratch the surface and plant the maize. As the rain comes, the soil will be uh, ready enough for the maize to come up. So we use this facility to teach a bit of conservation agriculture. Sure. I'm here with one of the farmers who work with us. Who has really benefited from what's going on here and i would like us to hear from him directly so the um, organic fertilizer is very good 
since I've been using it, we've had reduced exposure to diseases on the farm. Um, it's a lot cheaper than um, the other fertilizers in the market, and I'd highly recommend it to other farmers. Okay, so what we have here, um, you can see that we've harvested this maize here. These were the maize that we grew a um, few months ago for during the dry season. And then these are the fresh maize we're growing during um, early rains when the rains are not very intense. Well, there is a group of activities, the economic activities that is going on here I like to explain. Um, we have network of widows, network of um, young people who are interested in agriculture who come here to mop up from us when we grow uh, maize and then they are able to roast on the roadside and make uh, a living out of that. So if we go out of business and we're not able to produce for them, they go out of business, they are not able to sell on the street. So it's an economic support program that we have and I like to talk about it. Another interesting aspect um, here you can see is we've been able to uh, design a cheap trap to collect and recycle plastic. We collect them, dry them and then we are able to uh, sell to companies who recycle plastic as a way of raising um, extra funds to sponsor some of the progress. Okay, so um, we are in another location. This is a farm. What we do here is that we grow fruits, we grow vegetables, we have fish ponds and apiary. We equally don't just grow them for the market, we also use it as a demonstration farm or an experience center for our farmers, network of uh, smallholder farmers who work with us.